Ameen. InshaAllah. What do we have from our audience online? As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, I have backbited directly or indirectly. How do I seek forgiveness and correct myself? Yeah, make an istighfar. We write it down, that's we said that you know, <clears throat> what difference between the, sh the shaykhs and those who didn't re reach that reality is they don't forget anything. And what shaitan makes normal people to forget everything. Literally they'll hear the talk, by the end of the talk they will have forgot what was said and do exactly what the shaykh said not to do. Some take five minutes to do it, ten minutes, some couple hours because shaitan makes people to forget. So then when we write it down that, that I did this. I'm asking for forgiveness, Ya Rabbi I'm backbiting, I'm, I'm working on this characteristic. I give the sadaqah for it, I do my khidmat for it and I write it so that I understand that don't do this bad character and then I try to attack it. That I have a character and I want to stop it <coughs> and then they, they make their jihad against that bad character, it means their, their fight is real, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, I've noticed sometimes I've had painful situations while wearing the taweez and when I removed it, it was okay. Can you please guide? Yeah, go back to the other talks on the energies and meditation and that's exactly what it's supposed to do because there's something that the energy of somebody that doesn't want the taweez. So that's the very thing that you know is the proof of the energy. Some people have energies on them they're not aware of. As soon as they take medicine all of these different symptoms come out and that's exactly the purpose of the taweez. This is a protection, it has a light and a reality and has a, an understanding of ihtiba to follow the guidance of the shaykhs. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All of these barakahs have a light. That light comes upon the person and begins to cause a difficulty for negative energies. So this is, this is the, the way, this is the reality. So alhamdulillah get the meditation book, the energy books, watch the videos that are coming out on a weekly basis, three talks a week. All of these subjects have been covered in all of them. What did we talk about on Saturday? That the talks we don't get questions following from the talks. Zishan what was the talk on Saturday? Because people should be meditating, trying to go deeper into the reality inshaAllah, not, not make up you know like, what was this and how is the alif of this and what's the, the nukht of this and <laughs> like try to test things but how to go in deeper to what was discussed already and what was taught already, how to bring out the reality of what's being taught inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa so when we make du'a, do we ask the Ulul Amr to make du'a for us in Allah's presence 
since we can never reach Allah's presence? No, you always make Allah's presence, nothing changes in worshipness. But when we said, Iqra bi ismi rabbik, Allah's telling you, read in the name of your Lord. Well, that sounds like you can read your madad before you start anything, right? Because these are the people of authority. It's not actually read in the name of your Lord, it's read in the name of those whom are authorized above you. So before you call directly to Allah is you make madad. So when you want to sit to make munajjad and meditation you recite the madad, that's exactly what Allah is describing. You're asking for the madad and nazar of your shaykhs then making and connecting your heart with Rosa Sharif and the presence of Prophet that keep your nazar upon me, keep your, your, your lights and, and blessings upon me and then you start your ibadah, your zikr, your worshipness and then begin making du'a, Allahumma Rabbana, Allahumma Rabbana. Why all the du'as of Qur'an are Allahumma, there's no du'a that says Allah, oh Allah take gimme this, oh Allah gimme that, oh Allah… No, this is a modern innovation, all the du'as, an example of du'as, Allahumma barik, Rabbana, Rabbana, Rabbana. All oh, those whom are authorities over me, atina fi dunya hasana wa akhirata hasana wa kina dhabana. <laughs> so just by saying, Rabbuna, you're asking for the authority of all those whom are authorized over me that grant me my request. Doesn't that make it all encompassing? So this is exactly what Allah described in Qur'an, all the Rabbana du'as, we're just giving you its understanding so that you're, you're more intelligent in your heart and ma'rifah, ma'rifah means to know. We're not telling you to do something different and bizarre, you were making the du'a anyways, Rabbina tina fi dunya hasana wa akhirati hasana wa kina dhaba naar. So what were you saying when you were saying, Rabbuna? They come and teach you, you weren't saying Allah. In reality which your soul knows, maybe that your ego doesn't, is you were saying that all those whom are authorized over me, please grant me goodness in this life and in the hereafter. Just like in your prayer, As salaamu alaykum ayyuhan nabi wa ibadullahi salihin, they're in front of you. Why? Because maybe when we don't see something, Allah whom knows what he's created, wants us to address all of those whom facilitate for us in life. Ask them, they're there to help you. So the du'as, that's exactly the du'as the, how they were worded, we don't reword anything. We're just teaching you what you were saying. What is Allahumma? They, they say it means Allah. When they translate Allahumma it says, Oh Allah, it's a, it's a, that's a lie. Allahumma doesn't mean, Oh Allah. So until they understand the secret of Allahumma then it's all encompassing that, Ya Rabbi for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad and your Divinely Presence, grant me Ya Rabbi, grant me. So means this is the, the hikmah of how Allah wanted us to address. So that's, that's the secret of all of these realities. So nothing changes. Worship this is only for Allah but the reality is to understand how we make our prayers and our du'as. So, oh my Lord, oh my Lord, Ya Rabbana, Rabbana, Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi, that's all encompassing. All those whom are authority over me. Right? So then those souls that I don't see who are guardians over me, when you say, Ya Rabbi, they, they're responsible to facilitate and help because Allah will ask them, how you saw he's in difficulty you didn't help? And that's why Allah has these words that we use. So when we become mature we start to understand the words we're using is uh, calling upon many sources of power. 
and all of them bi'ithnillah they're all under the authority of Allah inshaAllah nothing changes. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah in the previous sohbah you mentioned that the Ahlul Bayt salam, had command over water. Sayyidi, was this by knowing the name of the one with authority over water? I don't know which sohbah was that, that they have command over water. So we have to make specific reference. They have command over the Kawthar. So when they tried to kill Imam Hussain salam, and they denied access to water. That's why we don't favor the use of calling Mazlum Hussain. He's not Mazlum, he's immensely powerful. He's not a weak person that was abused in the desert, he's immensely powerful. The source of many sources of power on this earth and, and outside of it. So he's the mighty Imam Hussain. And a part of that might is they try to block them from water and towards the end before his own death he wanted to show them that although you blocked us from water you're going to be on the day of judgment taking kawthar from us. Because by means of that kawthar Allah will wash away your dirtiness and your sins and allow you entry into paradise. Without that you don't get into paradise. You have to drink from that kawthar and they are the saqi, that's why it's in all of the nat. They are the ones whom dispense the kawthar to creation and as a result wanted to show them that you think that you denied us access to water and that you were very powerful and we died of thirst. He kicked the ground and the kawthar and zamzam started to flow from the earth. No, we didn't drink. Not because we didn't have the power to drink but because Izzatullah, the Amr Jabbar that Allah didn't want it, we wanted to show Allah our restraint. Means this is immensely powerful, powerful souls. And we describe many times in their battlefield, it's a Muslim that they, they abused Imam Hussain salam, the jinn, seventy sultan of jinn that any one of them could have flipped the entire earth. We're at the battlefield ready to enter into the battlefield basically asking for his command. And he said, no this is between me and Allah, if Allah is not giving me ishara to call you then Allah must want me to be in this situation to test me. He could have called on any of them and they would have taken all the heads off in one shot and everybody's heads would have fallen off in the desert. So these are very, very powerful souls and when we call them weak. We take away the credit that they really deserve, that they were immensely powerful and they didn't use their powerful power against people and that's what it means to be powerful. Now people have no power and they want to oppress people, they have to borrow the power from people, right? But these powerful souls, one of them could have done enough damage to the entire earth but they Follow what Allah wants and Allah gives to us an example, this is the use of power. If I give you power you have to restrain yourself. If I give you an ability you restrain yourself. If He gives you ears to hear then you restrain what you hear. He gives you eyes to see, restrain what you see. He gives you breath to breathe, restrain what you breathe. Please don't use the gifts and the power Allah gave to you in a negative way or unprofessional way or unauthorized way. And all of that is in the training but these are the masters of these immense realities, immense realities. So Imam Hussain is the mighty Hussain inshaAllah As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, every interaction with family and people seems to have gossiping. Trying to avoid that distances us from them. How to have healthy relationships while keeping our adab? 
Yeah, people have to balance, every family is going to be different. If it's gossiping about family members, I would you know put some food in your mouth and then sit off to the side and recommend people that, oh I don't think this is a good idea, this take the right of our own family. If it's gossiping on television, what Kanye West did and what this one did and I don't think anyone cares about these people. So somebody's talking about a TV show and this like this, this like this, that's not to the extent of danger. The danger that's concerning is that the harming of one's family, loved ones, dear ones, to be careful about that. Don't backbite your own spouse when you sit with your friends and relatives which is, is horrific, horrific in, in destroying the honour of the family and, and bringing Allah's anger and punishment to the entire family. So all of these are the essential, not the insignificant and you know why watch a TV show and that's all gossip. Those are, are, are the minor ones that if you can cut out then you cut out but the major are the dangers, the major which people sit, they gossip their family, they gossip their spouses, they gossip about their children, they talk bad about their children to other people which again is just unbelievable but they do. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah In Qur'an many prophets prayer starts with Rabbana. Were they seeking du'a from Holy Prophet as he saw is he وسلم, is the Imam of all Prophets? As he what? As he is the Imam of all Prophets. Yeah, whatever we teach is the way, the way they want to teach it. So anything specific is maybe something they don't want to go into those types of specific. Does he do this? Does he just like this? Does he like this? The general teaching is that all the du'as of Rabbana means all those who are in authority over me. They know, they are the knowers that every Prophet was in need of the intercession of the highest Prophet. And that's why Allah describes in Qur'an, if He, came, if he comes in your time there's a disclaimer. As soon as Allah revealed to a Prophet that they're a Prophet because it's ancient written upon their soul. As soon as they come into their prophecy Allah gives a disclaimer that if He comes in your time Sayyidina Muhammad that He's the Prophet and you're following Him And they said, Bala. So means the Risalat and the authorized, the highest ranking prophecy is the prophecy of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why Allah gives to us Rabbana and that's why they taught us now Rabbana is not, uh, is not talking to the Creator, is in reference to authority. So we're asking, oh all those whom are authorities over me, please intervene. And in their heart they know is enough and they say, Rabbana, 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 they make du'a. You have to only know the knowledge, you don't have to keep repeating it and clarifying that you know the secret and every time you want to talk you have to say, I know the secret. But it's the understanding the heart that those whom are authority over me please give your support. And I'm asking for these awliya the madad, like the word madad itself is asking for support. This is now a very defined reality of madad and that's why we teach that you should call the madad as soon as you're going to sit for meditation before we sit for our majlis and our association we recite our madad. Other people may not do that, I don't think other groups do that at all. We put it in, into our wazifa for our majlis. You may sit in other people's majlis, they didn't recite the madad at all. But we call upon the madad because we want their nazar and we want them to be present in our association and that these are the authorized souls over us that they will facilitate and dress us. And then we have many, many other teachings that many of the shaykhs have asked the shaykhs that 
if your student calls me by name, inshaAllah I will dress him. So Mawlana Abu Yazid al-Bislami said, if the students call me, Ya Taifur, I will dress them from all my dresses and secrets every time they call upon me. And Mawlana Shaykh would say that the shaykhs and their association were asking Shaykh Daghestani, why your students don't call me? They are full of al-mashhoon, they have many, many gifts in heaven just sitting. Who are they going to give them to? What are you going to do with it? Ah, how many gifts can you keep for yourself? There's not of any interest. So they asked Shaykh Daghestani, why your students don't call me? And he said, well, what do you want them to call you? He said, Ya Taifur. Say, Ya Taifur. Ya Abu Yazid al Bistami, Ya Sayyidina Taifur, bi madadakum wa nazarakum. And that's why then they, they're teaching all the names. Mawlana Shah Naqshaban, Ya Azizu Ya Razak, Ba Haqqa Ba Huddin Shah Naqshban Muhammad Wa Isi al-Bukhari. For anyone who wants rizq and sustenance, keep calling upon this way of calling Mawlana Shah Naqshaban, Abu Ahmad Sughuri is for the immense blessings and lights and the dress of this haybah and blessings of alimul and, and hikmah in the month of Safar. That's why we say, bi-ismi rabbik. So those who keep a book they should have all these different names and all these different realities of names. But your next question can't be, okay give us the names and what their secrets are. No, this is for the student who writes books and writes knowledges, they'll say, oh yeah we have one for this name shaykh and we have one for this name shaykh. Sayyidina Abbas Khidr said, call me Sayyidina Abbas Khidr salam, and call upon me and mention my name. So by mentioning the names of the shaykhs then we bring their nazar, their blessings and they have so many gifts to dress with and nobody to give them to. Tariqah is, is not what it was you know 100, 200 years ago. Now everybody has forgotten the heavens, handful of people you know in, probably in hundreds of thousands if, if, if that even that. So. You know that's the thing, they even don't mention the name Sayyidina Muhammad We're coming up to the Mauli, the Nabi and we're, uh, we're, we're, we're pushing and promoting. You should see the whole world be promoting like that. So it means these are the times in which shaitan causes the righteous to be forgotten and the extremely unrighteous to be remembered. So you turn social media and every dajjal is, is being promoted and, and uh, talked about on every social media platform. And our life is to raise the name of those whom Allah loves and has raised their honour and their name. And that's why it's so important to continuously send out the love of Prophet propagate the name of Sayyidina Muhammad support the milad, sponsor the milad. Uh, do anything you can for the Milad and Nabi And then the, the love of all the shaykhs and then and what we're doing. This is the bur birth, this is the urs, this is… Why to remember them? Because they're going to give us gifts. Do you see anyone else on social media saying, it's this birthday and this is the passing, this is the birthday, this is the passing, nothing. It means we get all the gifts. Imagine that when we… our people promote that, and let's say we have two, three hundred of our people promoting that. Imagine 10,000 people became informed of Mawlana Abu Ahmad al Sughuri's involvement and we propagated that name. Do you know how many blessings come upon those people who shared that? That those 10,000 people, whatever gifts they're going to receive from Sayyidina Ahmad Sughuri of the Siru, we share in all of that. Because we propagated that, we pushed that out, our people pushed that out. So it means this path is the path of immense barakah. You know people who want the dunya barakah and want to pick up gold and money and all these things. This is much more valuable than any gold and money. Can you imagine 10,000 people were getting the rewards of now mentioning this shaykh's name, this is his birthday, oh I didn't know this shaykh passed away and then 20,000 people now knowing that this shaykh passed away, this shaykh was born. And we said, Mawlana Abu Yazid al Bisami said, just call me Taifur, one time I'm going to send you all my treasures. That's how much they want to give a khidmat and service to the 
nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So it's immense, immense when our people share it's immense blessings in their lives and in, in all of our lives because we share in it too because we're asking the students to do that. So this is a way of barakah inshaAllah. We survive on barakah, not on our deeds, not on our, our, our actions and our salah and our zakah. We survive on barakah and blessings and Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmat Muhammad al Mustafa wa siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.